Oi lads, it's Dan here today, I bring you like a lovely video on why the derivative of r cos, why is that equal to negative 1 divided by square root of 1 minus x squared? So before we jump into this, I want you lot to drop a like and subscribe and let's get right into it then. So this is very similar to arc sine, taking the derivative of arc sine, proving it, right? So we're not going to be using the limit definition, instead we're going to be using implicit differentiation. And it's the same series of steps. So the first thing you lot are going to do is you're going to say that y is equal to arc cos of x. The reason for this is we're going to isolate for x and we're going to be applying cos on both sides of this equation and we're going to be isolating for the x term. So really what we got over here is cos of y is equal to x. Afterwards we're going to take a derivative on both sides of this equation. So the right hand side that's just going to be equal to 1. It's a pretty standard derivative and on the left hand side instead we got the derivative of x respect to x of cos of y. Notice cos of y in this case y is a function so therefore we got a function within a function we're going to have to apply a chain rule so this here is going to be the derivative of the first part and then whatever inside the brackets which is dy dx we are then going to isolate just for dy and dx and we're going to rewrite the equation as falls on your screen so at this point we're going to apply a trig identity to rewrite this in a more familiar format sine squared of x plus cos squared of x is equal to one replacing it with a y term and then solving for sine of y, what you lot are going to obtain is this, 1 minus cos squared of y. You're going to replace that into the equation over here. And then the only last step that you have to do is basically replace x is equal to cos y into this equation. And this basically comes from here. So once you do that, what you, what you lot are going to notice is that our cos of x is basically equal to negative 1 divided by square root of 1 minus x squared. So if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you lot later.